Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha Shomo, is the honored designer and um, I'm back on this channel and I've went to I've went for value hunting to learn more and I'm back to share the values I have obtained, the knowledge I've obtained with you and I hope this will inspire someone and it will educate us on the graphic design related um contents so um i'm starting a new set of videos particularly on corridor as that's the app i'm using the app i use the most so some of the videos i'll be making now will be on corridor and i'm using core 2021 the link to that software the crack version will be available in the description box so in today's video i'll be teaching us how to remove background right on your corridor um software so how to remove background on your corridor software instead of using all those websites or apps that may reduce the quality of the um pictures after removing the background those auto remover ai and um all those ones so i'll be showing you how to remove Backgrounds from a picture on Corel Draw. So before we start, I will sincerely appreciate if you can go to the subscribe button and click on the subscribe button, like this video, um, comment on this, and share to everyone, every creative out there. Background. So these are the three pictures we'll be using, the three images we'll be using. So it's the same process, but just to show one or two things based on the um, difference between the image. This first one is just a lady, nothing much. Then this one, um, because of the flower she's picking and some other points that may confuse us. And also, we are having two like two places the inside of the ring and the outside of the ring so i'm going to show you how to remove the background so let's start with this so to remove background with correct draw we are using correct draw but not exactly correct draw it, um we are using software that comes to correct draw once you um install correct draw on your system there are some other apps that comes with your correct draw we have the core photo paint we have the core capture and current um font manager or something so the one we are using is the corel um the corel photo paint so to so in order to switch from corridor to that core photo uh, photo paint you bring in your image then you right click on your mouse then you click on edit bitmap once you click on edit bitmap it's going to pop up uh, pop up the um software If the software is open already, it would um, just go straight. You won't have to wait. So I'm just okay. It has pop up. Please it over here. Skip. Okay, now we have it. You see, Corel Photo Paint. That's a software. That's a software, and it comes with Corel Draw. They are all Corel and softwares. So once you have this. This is your image then you go towards image click on image then you go to cutout lab so this is the cutout lab this is where we are going to remove the um, background so just to familiarize you with the little things here this first one is to zoom out see to zoom out and the second one to zoom in so to increase or decrease the um the size of the image and this one to move um the image around so that's the function then this one, this one um is the highlighter too. So it's one we are going to use to highlight the edges of what we want to keep. So that's it. The nib size is the size of this this cycle that we are controlling with our mouse. That was the size. If we increase the size, you see it has increased a little bit. You see it's increasing. That's the um the nib size. So depending on what you want to do. 
you can just decide on the size you want to use the highlight color so that will be the color of what you want to highlight you see green what you want to highlight so and the fill color that will be the one to choose what we want to keep so you understand more as um as we are doing it so the name size let's increase to like 40 you can use any size you like okay i like this way so in order to remove the background you have to trace out make sure it's in this highlighter too which sure is there so you have to trace out the edges so some of the green can be touching a little bit of the image and a little bit of the background so you have to what you have to make sure it's touching the edges and you trace the edges so some of the green parts can be touching um the image and parts touching the background so make sure it's touching at least a little part of both the image and the background all i did was just to zoom in using my mouse so that i have a better view and one advice i also give you is instead of just tracing all through you can do it little by little trace a little bit stop just a little bit stop the reason why that is like now when i made the mistake once i click my ctrl z it's just the last step that should be um that i'll go back to so it will be like i'll start all over again so you can just do it that way so that you don't make mistakes you make too much of mistake and starting all over again okay and getting it so i mentioned ctrl z the other time Ctrl Z, sorry, Ctrl Z is meant to undo your last work. So in case you make a, you made a mistake, you can click on Ctrl Z to go back to your last step. So these are shortcuts used in CorelDRAW and some other softwares. So it is always great to know these shortcuts as it will fasten your work. And if you don't know more, much of them or you don't know any, let me know in the comment box so that I'll make a video on um those shortcuts using color drop that will fasten your work so we've traced all the edges so we don't need to trace this on the side because there's nothing on there so it's enough like this so once you do this the next is to go to your inside field too now once it's in this inside field you see that uh, the icon has changed wherever you highlight or wherever you feel is what to be left so let's say we fill to the side. See, it's changed to blue. And you click on preview. See, this side will be left. But that's not what we want. We want this lady to show. So you click on your um, inside field tool and select this. So once you select this, you click on preview. See, the edges, I mean, the background are been removed without affecting the edges. Everything is okay. Everything is perfect. So once you do that, you click on OK. You see, it has been moved there. Then you click on Ctrl S. Ctrl S is the shortcut for save. So once you click on Ctrl S, so it will change it on your corridor. You can minimize this. You see, the background have been removed. So we've done this successfully. Now this. So the reason why I want to use this is because these are some little things that is different from the this one is just the edges but there are some things i want to show you here that will um that you need to know so if you don't know you might be having some background left the reason being that this one has a flower and there are some backgrounds in between the flower and the lady that um if you don't remove them it will show later that you don't remove them so how you do those ones so let's follow follow our step let's click Click on edit bitmap. So when you click on it, it should show here. In the other, you can enlarge. Then you go to image, cut out lab. So let's start from the main tracing first. From the downside, and don't forget to hit bit by bit, so that when you make mistakes, you can just click on Ctrl Z to go back to the last step so instead of when you are almost true and you made a mistake and you click on ctrl z and you start all over again that would be so painful and in case you don't know what ctrl z does 
it's a shortcut so you go back to the last piece it means undo go back to your last step so these are shortcuts using CorelDRAW and other softwares and in case you don't know this shortcut you can let me know in the comments section so that we can I said that I can make a video on it so we all be we all be on uh, the same page if this is your new size you can just adjust it to your taste what you know will work well for you doesn't matter the size all we are interested in is that it's touching the edges it's touching the background and the image is touching something now once we are done normally you are supposed to click on this and click on like then preview but if you do that, set the space, sorry, set this side and this side and some other side below. You see this side also. There are backgrounds there. So if you don't remove those ones also, it won't give you a perfect work. So what will you do? You make sure you remove that one also. So how do you do that? You just go back to a light tool, just like the normal way. And make sure you reduce your size because I think this is too big for this place. Let's put this around 10. Okay, then you do the same thing for that side. It should affect what you've highlighted before. Here also. I think this is too big. Let's reduce this to like 5. Then, This is the eraser too. I don't know why country Z is not working for now. Okay, you can also use the eraser to point. Now it's working. I don't know what's wrong with it before. Okay, we have that, and I think there's a little one down below. There's one down here. Okay. So. So. That's and also. There's a little one here. No. There's a little one here also. So I think we are done then. We we'll bring in this, we we'll click on our inside fill tool and we fill the inside. See all those parts we didn't are gone and click on preview. See every part of those background have been removed. And we have a perfect picture so you click on ok and you click on what Control s to save let's minimize this sorry so i want have been removed and this is perfect so we remove every part of the background and we have our image left uh and yes our image left and the third one and take we not this anymore and this one it seems the same thing with the last one we did but it's just that it has a bit inside and outside also so it's just the same step to trace outside so it trace outside the ring and inside the ring Though we may not be able to keep some of those sparkles, but we'll still be able to keep something. And you can just download um PNG sparkles online and add to it in case you want to use it for design or something. So let's quickly do this. I'm going to rush this actually so that to keep this video not too long. 
click on edit bitmap okay then image cut out lab then we do the same thing so like i said i'm going to rush it just follow the steps So guys, we are able to remove the background perfectly and we are able to keep some of the sparkles. So like I said earlier, in case you need sparkles, you can just get them online and add to it yourself. So that is how to remove background. That is how to remove the background of your image on Corridor. It's as simple as that. So simple, it's not so hard. So I hope you gain value from today's video and you get to learn something new. And if perhaps there's any other thing you want me to do on this channel, you can put that in the comment box and I will be glad to do a video on that as soon as possible. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel, make sure you like this video, drop a comment on this and share to everyone. Next time we meet, peace.